Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome to a hardcore. Now, I have my logs in my inventory because I was actually planning on doing a pillar to show you guys, like, just some little changes I've made, but, you know, <laughs> I suppose I'll just tell you them while I'm making uh, a enchanting table for the skeleton farm because I want to enchant a full set of diamonds. Oh, speaking of diamonds, I feel like I'm going to forget to bring them with me because I don't have another ender pearl for another ender chest. Uh, but the fact that we're not going to need sugarcane uh, anytime soon again, I'm actually going to break it all. And there should be some extra just to replant. If not, it's not as if it's the rarest thing in the world to find. So I will collect all of this. Now, I have gone and put a wall over there. You can see one. Uh, you also probably would have seen a two or three little extra pillars uh, from the previous episode. If you pay that much, I would not notice an extra pillar. But some of you notice amazing little things. Uh, and I find it enjoyable, you know. It's nice to know that someone is paying that much attention that they notice little tweaks that I've done to things. Anyway, yeah, so I did that wall over there, and I did the wall uh, over there. Now, this wall, there's too much mountains, so I think there's not going to be a wall there, or I will put it further down where some of the trees are, and maybe just make it look like a small little wall, because off in that direction is actually going to be heavily, like, farmland. Now, this uh, marker over here is actually where the center of our path will be, and I think it's going to be about the center of our market, because, uh, yeah, like I said, I have three categories of area, so there's upper class, lower class, and medium class, and then there's a market area that's so kind of in the middle, so that they can all intertwine, and, like, you don't have to... It doesn't look stupid, you know? Like, lower class isn't pressed up to upper class or anything, it's pressed up to the market, which they share in common. Uh, alright, so I need to... Oh, uh, this is my inventory layout now. I don't mind it. Uh, the crafting bench isn't normally on my axe. I made that before because I broke my axe. Uh, we'll just... Actually, I'll bring the crafting bench with me because I've got a little... I've did a bit of chest sorting, nothing crazy. Uh, leather for books paper because we already have some. Do I have any extra paper? Hopefully this should be... Hmm. Oh, wait. Am I gonna overshoot again? There we go. We didn't even... Oh, no. No, I didn't. All good. <laughs> That's all good. Uh, Alright, let's do that. Make them. I think I'll make these ones too and I'll keep maybe a stack, hopefully. Uh, Alright, do that. Make a book. A bunch more books. And that should be enough books. Oh, no. We need one more. Wait, wait, wait. Why do I have extra paper then? Whatever. <laughs> oh, wonderful! We had the perfect amount of leather. Watch me need leather though later for some other kind of thing. Um, Alright, now we need to get uh, some extra wood. Even though last time I overestimated the wood. Uh, oh, there we go! That's perfect! So 15 bookshelves and uh, we need to do that and then we'll have one extra book. And oh, we actually have a few extra books, but y you guys know what I mean. And now we can make the enchanting table, which we do have the materials for, which, uh, while I am doing that, getting these materials, I'll get that out and that out. Um, put that away in there. As you can see, it's kind of my little work chest. Um, we'll go over here, and we will make this, which I am making horribly right now, and it probably annoyed you. I hate when I watch someone craft something really inefficiently, like... Oh, I can't remember who it was I was recently watching, but they, they seemed a bit tired, and they were doing, like... like Ah, oh, it was just, it wasn't sticks, but you know, it, it was quite hard to watch, oddly. Alright, there we go, so 15 bookshelves, uh, we've got extra wood and extra, so we'll just make these into sticks so that I don't have them on me, I don't really need the obsidian anymore, even though we have the perfect amount of obsidian for one more ender chest, uh, these books don't, we don't really need anymore, I would technically enchant them, but, alright, so we have diamonds for our armor, we have diamond boots because we already have them, and I think I am ready to enchant now. Um, there was something else I wanted to show you guys. Oh, we'll, we'll run past there, I suppose, while we do it. This area isn't as big as my little map seems to be, but I definitely think we'll still be able to fit every single build in. I did, did want it close and cozy anyway, because it's meant to be like a kingdom, you know? Uh, and upper class, I, I, recent, I recently added upper class and the castle together, so like... There was a few things in a castle area that I wanted to make, but I'm going to add that to upper class and we'll see how that goes. Uh, oh, and I, I even picked out, like, the number of houses I want. I think I picked uh, 10 upper class houses, like 20 uh, medium and then 25 lower. You know, I want it to have a fair bit, but this marking here and it goes all the way around here is just about the size of the dock. It's not actually going to be the shape of the dock because... I want to build very, uh, I think the word is dynamic. I want it to be spirally. I want it to 
I want to build where I want to build. I do not want to follow the either straight grids or the diagonal grid. I would like to build how I want. So I just did these markings to see roughly how well my map went with uh, the actual Minecraft world. And I was pretty happy with it. Uh, now areas like this, I we might actually end up doing in this episode because... I'd like to enchant a full set of armor, and then uh, an axe and a shovel, and if we get a good shovel, we'll go and do all these little tasks. But definitely mainly focusing on preparing, fighting uh, for the dragon fight, so, you know, uh, like I've mentioned and like Potato mentioned, shout out to Potato, he's a bae, uh, there's no point doing a world if you're going to die on the dragon, whereas the wither, it's something you can be pr more prepared for, but the dragon, I feel like, is some uh, end goal, you know? Uh, but here's the other wall I marked out. Like I said, it wasn't a very big area. It seems a lot easier to, like, bring the water around and just have it look like it's water, a moat. I don't know what you'd call it. All right, let's pop into our little area, which I don't know even how I ended up here. I generally always lose this place. And we will put down our enchanting table. And I really feel like there was something else I wanted to bring. I do have iron and wood, so I could make a hopper because we did want to collect the items. So I think we'll do that as well. And enchanting. Where do we want to do that? I suppose here, really. It's nowhere else I'd really want to put it. So uh, we will... Oh, can I break that? Ooh. I don't know how much I want to break that, but I would like to have a torch. I like to have a torch under my enchanting table. Nah, nah, not doing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get it. There we go. Um... Enchantment table there, break this a bit, and we will make the... the oh, I, I never do this. To, I like... Ah, oh, oh, I just wasted that, didn't I? We need to get away the corner. But like, corner enchanting... Does the corners count? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you guys are going to get real mad at that. Uh, anyway, I want to do another Skyblock giveaway because you guys really... Like, the people that play the Skyblock server really enjoyed the fact that um, they could still get ranks occasionally. Um, so yeah, I will do another one. Uh, so leave a like with uh, a like and a comment with your Minecraft name, and I'll randomly select someone. I can't be doing three each time, as that's a bit crazy. See what level does this give us? Um, do this, twenty-four. So we need to oh remake those two that I broke. Ah, oh, what am I doing? I'm so bad right now. I'm like the, I'm like the example I was speaking about before. See, I don't want to put them in there. I've seen people do this though, and how does this work nicely? Maybe they do that, and it's uneven. Why do I have one extra? Let me let me see what level I am. That's only 28. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, so I'm going to break them down. But the other thing I want to do is make a... Uh, what we'll do is we'll block this off. And I want to make a hopper that goes to a... Oh! Oh, no, it's a water layer. It's all good. I thought I had um broken something important. There we go. And I want to get a hopper, which we need to make a chest for. And we actually need to make two extra chests. So there is three. One, two, three. And, oh, we got skeletons still coming in. I wish, uh... Oh, I should make a disable switch for the skeleton farm too. Just something, uh, even a kill mode. I don't know. It's just something so that I don't have unlimited skeletons coming at me. Uh, alright, so I can actually chop that up. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know there was a diamond in this chest. This was, uh, from our, like, scavenger adventure you know through the caves you guys really enjoyed that too which i was also very happy about thank you all you guys are wonderful people wonderful um now we want to make a stair case so that we can put it here and have a higher chance of the items going in to the hopper and we could also possibly put a um slab at the bottom to maybe stop items from jumping out like this but we uh we'll still be able to grab experience especially if i break this and bring this back a bit you know, we could go to the corners to grab the experience, and yeah, I think I'll just move the chest around. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'm going to camp this spawner for a very long time. I like, I just forced myself to stop yawning. Wow, I have been jibber jabbering again. Yeah, I'm going to camp this spawner. Uh, I think what I'll do, it, oh, we'll make the we'll make the stuff. This is what I I think this is my favorite way to do enchantments with you guys is to make the stuff like so, and then we need a helmet and. A axe and a shovel so there we go and maybe another pickaxe if we can feel like it uh, now what we do is we just like put that in we could put it in a chest uh, which which chest will oh can I put a chest there wonderful all right so this is our enchantment test chest and all of these are gonna get enchanted hopefully I like to have it laid out nicely there we go 
And yeah, I'm going to enchant that. I shall be back. Okay, guys. So what seems like years is all over and we have done all of our enchantments. Uh, I felt like I... Oh, no. I just put the boots in here. I also made a bow and that's what we're going to do last. Uh, helmet was perfect. Love it. Uh, chest plate, decent. Leggings, not too good. Boots, eh. Like, you always want feather... Uh, falling so you know boots aren't too great shovel i don't mind it's just gonna break really quickly if we un i might in try to enchant another one before i use this one uh, and then we have the axe which is pretty decent as well uh probably would like to make two pickaxes out of that but honestly skeleton spawners are so slow i was also debating putting some kind of piston de deactivator thing here uh but i don't really know how i'd want to do that so i suppose i'll just leave it like that that's the uh Chainmail stuff we got, bows and gold and stuff I was throwing over there. Uh, I would like to make a funnel system that just, I don't know, it'd be nice to be able to get out the chain stuff. Maybe I could have like a chest and all the items go into it, but the bones and arrows get taken out. Then I click out like the ch chain stuff and then the rest gets disposed of. I th thought that would be cool, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, may not ever use this again. Uh, but yeah, let's enchant. I'm... Come on, something good. I threw out my old bow, so I better get some power. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, that makes up for everything. That makes up for any bad enchantment we got. But I'm not going to complain. Like, we did get good enchantments. I just... I wanted slightly better, because I'm greedy. All right, uh, let's put that there. Oh, yeah, ball so hard. And we'll chuck on the diamond. And now we're going to venture into the nether. Uh, I would like to kill a... What's it called? A few more blazers, get some nether wart. I, I felt like then that I should have put away my diamond pickaxe, but honestly, like, if I die, I die forever. So if I bring the diamond pickaxe with me, it's uh, quite helpful to have. Uh, we do need to get a flint and steel from our base, uh, well, our home. It's not really a base. I'm so used to having, like, a little base starter, you know, something like the spawner and in the ground, but we do actually have a proper home now, if I can see it. I think it's off in this direction. Anyway, yeah, so I need to get a flint and steel, and, um, there's one other thing I wanted, but I have totally forgot. Maybe some more food, too, because I'm using mine up. Oh, I wanted to make some watches, too, guys. We'll see if I have the materials. If I do, I will make them, because I need a bit of sword, too. Uh, <laughs> I just get so distracted. But, yeah, uh, to have a watch in my house and, uh, in the mine over there, well, where we just were, the skeleton farm... It would be nice to see what time of the day it was because if you you may not have noticed, uh, you probably didn't because I just dug some paths around the uh, the skeleton spawner and like dug out because it wasn't it wasn't very efficient at all. Like it was annoyingly inefficient, and I think maybe I'm just so used to Enderman farms. I definitely think I'll make a blaze spawner. It seems they I think double as quick as uh, like spawners like that. All right, there we go. We got we got a decent amount of. Uh, iron on us. We now have that. Uh, we'll go down to storage and see if we have the materials to make two clocks and two item frames. I do not think we do yet because I just used all the uh, leather so we don't. Uh, but we should be good. I think this will be our inventory layout. I ge Actually, I generally take it like this, don't I? Um, oh, I really should have done another pickaxe but whatever. There we go. We'll have our inventory like that. Uh, I think I'll put the bow in the second slot. I'm really happy with this bow. Does it oh, it doesn't have unbreaking. That's actually really upsetting. It's it's becoming nighttime, isn't it? Yeah. All right. We're gonna we'll have a power nap, and then I will come back at the Nether portal because it's quite the stroll in that direction. Okay, guys. So my Nether fortress goes off in two directions, and I just went on a journey, and I actually had you guys with me. Like I make it sound like you guys were legitimately like holding my hand through the journey, but yeah, I it was a very bad one. I went off in this direction, and like all I was doing is shooting mobs from a very far distance. You'll see my inventory uh, took no hearts of damage at all. That's how safely. I I've been playing, but I'm really looking for a, uh, what's it called, uh, nether wart, so I figured we would go this way now, which I'm a bit worried about doing just because this floor is lava, um, uh, can we block this? I can block it, like that, but I feel like it's gonna come further out now up here, alright, there we go, now we're, we're not safe, but we're better off, I did, uh, remember to bring cobblestone, my game sounds are super loud in the nether, I think 30 would be nice. Um, Alright, there we go. So yeah, uh, I went on the journey. There was nothing really said. I found another blaze spawner, but it was just an outer one. I was ho I'm hoping to find a double blaze spawner if I'm lucky. But on my journey from this one, I actually saw this nether fortress, which 
I thought would be attached to this one, but apparently it's not. So let's go and make a cobblestone pathway. This is possibly the safest pathway I've ever made. Um, all right. So I actually have um quite like because there's so many nether fortresses, I'm often finding like the mobs from them, not in the usual areas, you know, and that's a bit weird for me, but. Hopefully we don't get a skeleton jumping down on us here. And then I'm oh there we go. We could have had one. Is he gonna notice this yet? Watch watch a uh, zombie pigman walk out right in front of him. And then I'll shoot him and I'll be fighting multiple mobs. Alright. Oh crap! <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you and I'm scared of my other side. Did I get him? Oh, I didn't one shot him. I can one shot them. Ah, uh, I found out with this bow, which I do like. He's still alive. I thought I hit him. There we go. Oh no! I didn't want to catch on fire, at least yet. Alright, so there we go. That was our first bit of damage in here. I'm not... <laughs> I do like this fortress because it's got a roof above it, but I also don't like it because it's got a roof above it and I feel very trapped. Uh, and kind of like sneaky corner thing. Alright, there's one there. A uh, blaze spawner here, so that's cool. Uh, we won't... Oh, wow! That set off quickly! I didn't want to set that off, but apparently I did. Um, hopefully there's one up here. Am I lucky? No? Maybe. Hmm. This is looking a bit more open than I'd like, generally. So there's the top of that blade. Ah! Oh! <laughs> wow, I do have a screenshot of my spawn coordinates. I always delete my screenshots, so I have to go and take like my, like, my house coordinates in the hardcore, and even like these ones in here, I have to go and get the, uh, screenshot them again. Right, there we go, geared up. I do like our inventory set out. Uh, I should change the bed, like, in, when I go to the nether, I should switch the bed for the flint and steel. Uh, because you can't use beds in the nether, obviously. I've never exploded one. Is it a powerful explosion? Like, I'm not gonna go and test it in here, but... Oh, God, this... This fortress part is also looking empty. I think we have... We got lucky with the fortresses, but I think as punishment for being so lucky, we're gonna have to search them more, you know? Whereas generally I find items straight away that I need. All I, like, all I want is one nether wart. I'll get soul sand somewhere else if I have to. And, uh, what else do I want? If I, if I want to be greedy, I'd also like a chest so I could, um, hopefully get a saddle in it. Oh, speaking of chests! Oh, that was very coincidental. It's almost as if I searched this, but I haven't. <laughs> uh, alright, we're safe-ish. And, oh, so ha that, the chest, guys, that is the chest. That's what I want to see in the comments, the chest, nothing else. Uh, we'll just do a, yes, quick look around. I find once you get, uh, start getting this kind of pathway is when you get all the chests, you know, a lot of corners, um, and staircases up and down. That's when you find all the chests. All right. Stuff's getting a bit more serious down here. All right. You've noticed us. So that means others, uh, skeleton has noticed us. Oh, he has now. Oh, that's cool. It's like he actually had to see us. Um, alright, so down here was pretty... Eh? Nothing too bad. Uh, how much... Oh, we have plenty of... I was gonna say how many arrows do we have left, but we have unlimited! I should be breaking the chest. Oh, more nether wart. Wonderful. Because I... Nether wart grows so slowly. It annoys me. Alright, there we go. Lock... Light this up a bit. We'll go down through here first. Oh my god! I want to get, no, I want to get the chest. I feel like, like, I've got nether wart now, but this chest might have something that I don't have. Uh, maybe some diamonds would be nice. Three diamonds would be nice. Um, all right, quite a safe area too. I definitely thought this tunnel would have a few because, like, it's further away. Um, all right. Uh, not a great chest. Probably not worth the adventure, but whatever. Uh, I need an axe on me so I can break these. I'm, uh, no, I love having a pickaxe on me. Pickaxe on me is safety. Let's do that. There we go. We, it's not as if we need these other two slots. You know, I don't honestly take most advantage of my hotbar. Like, I use these two and then these three. And the rest I kind of have for just random. And right now, I, it's not as if I'm building. I don't need the, those set ones. So, you know, I should probably take better advantage of that. Just tips for myself right here. Alright. Oh, no. Where is this taking us? Where is this taking us? Wow, that one, like, curved around the other one, and they didn't bump into each other at all. Alright, let's do a six more torches. I know I could be doing more, but I like to be safe. We are running low on coal, but it's not as if we need it here. I just like to be extra torchy for you guys, really. Um, for me, I don't mind. Alright. Ah, oh, these these sec intersections are killing me. They're driving me crazy. 
Um, all right. That's all good. Let's go all the way to the other direction. And empty that out. Oh, this, this, I take it back, guys. This is a good nether fortress, you know? It's quite the adventure. I'm going to get back, though, which I haven't really thought about. I like how they loop around, but half the time you don't even notice that they've looped around. Um, all right, so up there is where we came from. So we'll go down here. We'll see how well my sense, uh, if my sense of direction's really improved with Minecraft. My vision hasn't. I thought that uh, corner was a wither skeleton for a second. Then, while I was uh, killing skeletons uh, at the skeleton farm, I um just went away from the computer slightly, and I was only I was looking at it still. I always make sure to be keeping my eye on it. But um yeah, a skeleton fell and it died. So like its body went red and it fell towards like the camera. I suppose you call it like the screen. Oh, my heart jumped so much. I thought there was, like, a skeleton escaping and, like, I had to jump up and go and, like, battle it. Whoa! Oh, you scared me a bit more than you should have scared me. Um, alright, we got that. We could get the soul sand, too. So, let's go and put another tool in our inventory. Oh, we are on fire now. There we go. Awesome. Dig that up. Not that I can pick... I think my inventory... Yeah, my inventory's full. I could empty it out if I wanted to. But I'm pretty happy with this. I am getting the soul sand, so that's all I want. Alright guys, let's... I'm gonna say let's get out of here. I'm pretty happy with our loot, but... I'm gonna try to get out of here, oh my god. Um, I think... Oh my god. I think this way. Maybe. No, no, this is not gonna take us out. I am lost in here, guys. That is horrible. Yeah. Alright, that connects to that one. So that's good. <laughs> Like, two birds with one stone there, you know? I was a bit unsure about that direction, so I broke it down. And, alright, I think this is... I kind of feel like this is where we came from. Ah, uh, it's not! Hmm. Oh, God. I think what I'll do, you guys, is I will just pop back when, if I find my way out. Or, or when I find my way out. If it's if, I'll probably pop back and I'll be dying. But we do have 50 more food. We're pretty stocked up, you know, to survive, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, so I found the way we came in from, uh, I actually, it wasn't a close call, it was a good fight, uh, but I was stuck in a doorway with, like, two blazers and a wither skeleton. Ne none of them hit me, but it, I want to, like, name this bow Lifesaver or something, just because... Live saver? Life saver. Anyway, it just, it saved me. Like, if I didn't have this bow, I would have had to fight them with a sword, and I would have been in a really bad position. But because I had this, uh, bow, I was in quite the decent position. Uh, I think this way goes- Ah, oh, no! I think we actually- Yeah, we just have to go up here, actually. Yeah. Because I remember this is how I got back up to spawn before. Uh, because I went and ventured all on that side. Anyway, guys, I think this is where we'll end the video. I was gonna go and place, uh, some nether- Wait, what's this called? Soul Sand? And then go and, like, show you guys where I'm farming that. Oh, I also got returned to Sender because I was shooting a ghast as it was shooting me, and I hit the thing into it, obviously. Uh, I don't like how it doesn't post in the chat. I may need... Oh, I should tweak that, actually. I can do that. I know I can do that in the settings. There we go. Let's see if we got it. A... Oh, no. No. Oh, I'm not going all the way down there for it. Jeez. Alright, what do we what do we got? This is what we got from that adventure. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment with your Minecraft in-game name so I can select a winner. Uh, the winner is selected 24 hours after the video is posted. So yeah, and if there's if there's TBA where the winner's meant to be, uh, you still can enter. Uh, just sometimes I miss I'm not instantly doing it. Oh, I want to collect this wood, but I have gone the wrong way. I need to go that way to get back to home. I will see you guys for the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys!